Hello, and welcome to Get the Pose. My name is Zakari Westbrook. I am the photographer that's going to be taking you through these poses today. I have chosen three poses from Vogue's 2017 March issue, specifically the silk chemise spread. The reason I chose these poses is because they're all very strong, they're very versatile, and they're ones that you can tweak if you don't have a model body. Demonstrating these poses today will be the lovely Ariane Degany Leclerc. So let's get started. We're going to start with Adriana Lima's pose. This one is in semi-profile, but you're going to start by standing in full profile and then turning your head towards the camera and letting your torso sort of follow along with that. Your right hand is holding the side of your neck and your elbow is straight down over the breast. But don't squish your boob. Just let your arm rest on top. Your left hand is on your hip, but don't just touch your hip, which ends up looking a little bit odd. Get your thumb and your index finger in a nice, loose grip. Do not press into the skin. Just this nice, loose, but very decisive and very confident grip right above the bone. Straighten your spine and lean back a bit. Then bring your shoulders forward to give you this beautiful little hunch. Don't bend forward at the waist. You're gonna be leaning back, keeping your stomach nice and flat, letting your shoulders create that nice arc. Get your chin up and look right at the camera. Now your left foot is going to be almost on point for those of you who have ballet training. Nearly all of your weight is on your right leg. And if you can, you want just your big toe to be touching the ground with your left foot. If you don't have the balance for that, that's fine. You can go ahead and lower your foot and just stand on the ball of your foot. So you want that knee out as far as possible. Again, get it out on the toe if possible. If not, bring it down a little bit and stand on the ball of your foot. So your legs should be in full profile. This is why I wanted you to start that way and then turn because it's a lot easier to just get your feet right and then do the upper body. Now for Jasmine Tooks' pose. You're gonna start by looking at the background of your studio at a little bit of an angle, and then you're going to be turning later to face the camera. But we're gonna start with the feet. Uh, get your feet shoulder width apart, or maybe a little bit wider. And again, most of your weight is on the right leg. That's gonna be a common thread through all three of these. Put some on the left. The left is gonna be on the ball of the foot, but just not yet. You wanna stick your leg out. Again, ball of the foot, and then bring the ball of the foot back, sort of slide it along the ground back towards you until your foot is almost under your hip. Not quite, but almost. Now arch your back and stick your booty out. This should be automatic for any shot of your butt. Anytime you're turned this way towards the camera, you wanna be sticking that booty out. So push your stomach forward, booty back, shoulders back, you're good. Rest both hands really high up on your leg. You don't want them down by the knee, you want them almost up at your hip, but not quite, and point your elbows straight back. Now you're gonna turn. Turn your head as much as you can towards the camera. You wanna be able to see the camera with both eyes, and you're gonna let your torso follow that, which should give the camera some nice side boob. For Iman Hamam's pose, we're going to be doing almost the same thing with the feet, again, Right foot has the weight, and your left is up on the toe if you can manage it. If not, follow the foot. You want a straight line from your right foot to your hip, then you're gonna slide your shoulders to the left. You're not bending at the waist here, you're not tilting. You're just sliding those shoulders over like they're on wheels. Raise your left shoulder above your right, and then reach over and give your right bicep a little stroke like it's a puppy. Then raise your right elbow so it's about level with your left shoulder. Now you'll see here, Ariane's elbow is higher than Hamam's, but that's because Ariane's arms are proportionately shorter. So this is one of those little adjustments that you have to make. You have to be aware of your proportions and we wanna keep this really dramatic angle that Hamam is getting. And she's getting it with that, with a fairly straight arm. Uh, her, her elbow is a little bit higher than her right shoulder, but not much. 
but with Ariane, having that kind of a level because of the proportions doesn't quite have the same drama. So I had her raise her elbow up a little bit more, and that gives us the same sort of flair that uh, her mom has. All right, so those are your poses. Now, most of the time when you're shooting in a studio, you're not going to have a mirror that you can look in. So you need to be practicing these and any of your other poses at home. So what you want to do is get in front of the mirror, uh, get into the pose, get it right, then close your eyes and just memorize the way your body feels in this pose. Because that's almost all you're going to have to go on once you're in a studio. Now you also need to trust your photographer. The photographer has a much better idea of how you look than you do. And so just trust their judgments. They want a good picture just as much as you do. All right, so there you go. We have three really strong poses that you can add to your repertoire and try those out at your next modeling session. I hope this has been helpful and instructional, and if so, please give us a like and a subscribe so we can keep making more videos like this for you. All right, see you next time.